Hey guys, this video is going to be about solving a system of equations using the substitution method. Um, now in my last video, um, I did lesson 43 homework um, and I did the graphing method. Um, so now we're just going to scroll down here and I'm going to solve number two from this homework using the substitution method. Um, now, so if we think of the first step in the substitution method, it says that we have to get at least one of the equations in either x equals or y equals format. Um, and, and so this, this is different than graphing. Remember in graphing, we had to get both of them in y equals. In substitution, it's not as, as tricky. We just have to get one of them in either x equals or y equals format. So we look at number two here, and we've already got that done. Okay, um, if we look at the, the top equation in number two, it's already in x equals format. It's x equals 3y minus 2. So that step's already done. We don't even have to worry about that. Um, so now number two is sort of the tricky step. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, we take whichever one is in the x equals format. Okay, and that is going to give us our piece that we're going to use to plug in. Okay, and, and so here's the best way to, this is nice because we can do this on the um, on the iPad here. I'm just going to rewrite, so the, the other equation, the one that's not in x equals or y equals format, I'm just going to rewrite that, and that's a great way to start, just rewrite that other equation. Um, so I've got 4x minus 2y equals 12. All right, now if we look at this, this, this first equation, it says that x equals 3y minus 2. Okay, let's go ahead and write that also. Um, x equals 3y minus 2. Okay, good. So the equal sign means that literally x and 3y minus 2 are exactly the same. And so what that means is that anywhere we see an x, we can put in 3y minus 2 instead of x. And so here's how this is going to work. And I'm going to use my little cutter tool here. Um, so I've got this 3y minus 2, and I said that I can put it in anywhere that there's an x. So what I want to do is I want to drag it over here, and we see this x. I want to take that x out. Okay, so this x is going to get out. And I'm going to put this 3y minus 2 back in where that x used to be. So let's grab that, and let's just slide it right here, right where that x used to be. And, uh, and this x is gone now, so we can just uh, we can delete that. Um, and I'm going to delete this too. Okay, now what's really important here, I have to make sure that I put parentheses around that piece that I plugged in. Okay, so I've got a brand new equation. I'm going to slide it over so it's easier for me to work with. I've got a brand new equation that I created by substituting part of one equation into the other one. All right, from here on out, it's just simple algebra stuff, guys. It's stuff we should have learned last semester. Um, I'm going to distribute this four times both things inside the parentheses. So 4 times 3y is going to give me 12y. All right. And 4 times negative 2, make sure that this is negative 8 because a positive times a negative makes a negative. Um, and then I'm just going to rewrite the rest of this. All right, now I combine like terms. So over here on the left side, I see that I've got uh, 12 y's and I've also got negative 2 y's. So I'm just going to combine those two. I'm going to draw my little lines, right? And 12 y's. Minus 2y's gives me 10y's, so just 10y minus 8 equals 12. Okay, now I'm trying to get y by itself, so I add 8 to both sides. Okay, and I'm going to end up with 10y equals 20, and I'm almost done. Last thing to get rid of that 10, I have to divide everything by 10, so I get y equals 2. Okay, good. So just to recap there, I plugged part of one equation into the other equation, and then I just used my algebra skills to solve it. So now I'm halfway done, because remember, to solve a system of equations, I always need to, I need to have a y and an x. Now I only have a y. Um, but this is really easy, because I'm going to rewrite this original equation, x equals 3y minus 2. And just the way that we took the original 3y minus 2 and plugged it into the other equation wherever we had an x. I can take this y, this y equals 2, and I can plug that in anywhere else that there's a y. The same thing we did, um, but now with the y. So now I'm going to have x equals 3, and instead of a y, I'm going to have a 2. 
minus 2. And now it's just simple arithmetic, right? So x equals 3 times 2 is 6 minus 2. And then I've got x equals 4. All right, so now I've got an x and I've got a y. And I'm just going to write that out on a point. 4, comma, 2. Make sure we put it in parentheses. And then I put a big box around it so that Mr. McSparren or Mrs. Sleeth knows that's my answer. Okay, there's our answer. That's solving systems of equations using the substitution method.